think, um, I think this is it. I don't want to peek. I look forward. You guys are there. The lights are here. I think we're good to go. Let's do this. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Johnny Q, and thanks so much for watching. Welcome to the Johnny Q channel. I just got done watching Bird Box on Netflix. It's pretty good. Two thumbs up. Go see it. It's a really good movie. It's not that scary. Follow the birds. I can't, I don't like this because I don't really know if I'm looking at you guys or not. Oh, I was way off. I was like talking over here. Good to see your smiling, beautiful faces as always. And in today's video, it's all about crushing your Instagram stories. How to post and how to export and how to create high quality videos to your Instagram story. After this intro. You guys know the drill. No intro. Will it get made? Yeah, it'll get made at some point, but right now, this is the intro, and I can't, what if I did the whole video like this? Okay guys, this is how you export, I don't see anything, I can't see anything. Let's get to it guys. You created a video, you wanna promote it, you put it to Instagram story and you get that. Let me show you what I mean. So you go to the video you want and you're like, oh, that is not what I wanted. Why is it cropped this way? I don't want it horizontal. I want it to take up the whole, the entire screen. You don't want that. What you want is this. Boom. See how beautiful that is? It just takes up the entire screen. People are zoned in onto your content. They see what's going on. It, it takes up their entire screen on their phone. That is what you want. That is how you start crushing your Instagram game. What you want to do is go to sequence. Go to sequence settings, and this is something super simple, very simple. What you wanna change is two things. Up here, right here where it says video, the frame size, and horizontal, and the vertical. It will give you a ratio. So for frame size, you wanna type in 900. And then for the horizontal, 1600. We press okay, and yes, that's okay, and boom. Our sequence settings have changed so that it is set to the Instagram parameters. After you do that, what you wanna go do is make sure, see like what I've done here is I go to my clip, I go to the effects control panel, click here on scale, and I move it as I need to for it to actually fit the Instagram parameters. So I wanna get right to the very edge, right to the very edge, so it doesn't go over and I don't have these black bars at the top and it's not too zoomed in where it just looks bad. So I kinda just wanna set it right at the very edge. Depending on the actual clips itself, like let's take this right here. Let's say I want more of the garage and more of that space in the middle. What you wanna do is then cl click up here in position and move it around as need be. And then also make sure you're still inside the Instagram parameters. And everything should be looking swell and after you're done with that, you want to export it. And so what I like to do is open media encoder first because that's what I process it through. What I usually do is export YouTube 2160. And that's, this is what happens. It actually crops the Instagram parameters even more. So don't do that. What you want to do is format H.264, the preset, at a high bit rate. And then it doesn't crop anything. It exports it as is from the actual parameters that you set in the first place. And after that, I want to queue it up and I will actually start rendering, start processing that. Once that's doing its thing, it'll be on your desktop, like right here. It'll be the file that you named it on your desktop, and then make sure to go right click on it, go to share, airdrop it to yourself so it's right on your phone. Then from there, you can upload it to the tubes, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, Vimeo, all the stuff, but mainly Instagram stories. That's what we're doing right now. And so once your video is all said and done and it's finished, and you follow these steps, go to Instagram, and then you click on the one that you airdropped to yourself, and it should look like this, full screen, your whole video, and just go to next, share it to your story, and boom, there you go. That was a very quick tutorial, but I feel like most people don't know how to do that, and I do think it elevates your game even more, because most videos you see are very horizontal and it gets cropped. And you can't see all the features and all the details. But once you do this, it'll elevate your game even more. Hope you liked it. Hope that helps you. Please leave a comment below if that helped you. If it didn't, 
I would love to answer some questions on how I can help to actually fix it. So let's do this. Thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy this Instagram sequence that I filmed earlier today while it was snowing. Peace.